TV, I'm Katie Long. I'm here at Pilate High School, where students are fighting poverty all over the world, one meal at a time. Over the next few hours, these high schoolers will sort, weigh, and package food that relief organization Cross Catholic International picks up and gives to the less fortunate. It's the second annual Pack and Pray event. Staffer Nancy Vauder says the day of service provides a new perspective on poverty. We really believe that when young people have the opportunity to kind of do hands-on service in participating in charitable events, it really cultivates a charitable heart. It makes it real. You can just see, visually see the difference that these young people can make in the world. Senior Samantha Dernbaugh and Gina Garza witness food scarcity firsthand on a trip to Belize last year. I saw girls that were my age at the high school who they couldn't um, afford to have meals every day like I can and their only meal that they would get would be the meal that they would have at school for lunch. It made me realize how grateful I should be for the things that I have here back at home. It made me feel really sad because at the moment I couldn't do anything to help them and I want to help them now. They will assemble 40,000 meal packets. Each package can feed a family of six. An eye-opening and humbling realization. They have to survive on this essentials, these nutrients, just to get them by. I thought the disparity between my lifestyle and their lifestyle was pretty weird. Still, their homegrown efforts leave Pilates students hopeful for a better tomorrow. If you have any sort of idea, it, you can make it global and you can help people in all sorts of countries, not just South America or our own country, but everywhere. The school is asking for $20 donations. That will cover the cost of buying the food, packing it, and of course transporting it. With Laurel TV, I'm Katie Long.